Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 40. Today's short video covers YouTube playlists and how to link to a specific time in a video. So many of our users use YouTube regularly. Indeed, you're using it now, but how many of you feel comfortable curating content and organizing it into useful playlists to share with friends, colleagues, and more importantly, other students? The process is surprisingly simple and quick. The first thing you need to do is find a video that you want to add to a playlist and right underneath the video you'll see a share button and a little plus sign with a, what looks like a menu. Click on that and it'll choose add to. If you have any playlists already created you'll see them in the list here but don't worry if you don't have one you can go in here and click create new playlist. So let's say I want to create one here and I can then give it a name and I can choose whether this playlist is public, anyone can search for it and find it, whether it's unlisted, anyone can view it even if they don't have a login or anything else like that just by using the link or if I want it to be private entirely. For use in the classroom, you're probably going to want to choose unlisted or even public depending on the nature of the videos that you're putting in here. So then just click on create and it'll be added to the playlist. So then as you keep going, you can find other videos that you might want to use. Click on the plus sign there as well and then choose the playlist that you'd like it to be on and that's it. You keep adding to the playlist. So how do you get to your playlist once you've made them? You go click on the menu at the top and then if you don't see them immediately over here under your library, you can click on show more and you can find them uh, at that point. Another way to find your playlist is to click on your profile up at the top right and go to my channel and then just click on the playlist tab there and you'll find them all there. Now to edit a playlist, you simply have to open it up in either way you choose and you'll see a set of dots to the right of the name of the video and you can go in there and remove this file from that playlist, set that particular thumbnail for that video as the thumbnail for your playlist or even add more things to your playlist. The watch later is a special playlist that you can that always stays around with your account. If you click the edit button, you get a few more choices as to what you can do with this playlist, including adding a description to it for other people to view, playing all of them, or sharing this playlist or embedding it, things like that. So if you hit the play all button, or if you hit the share button, it'll give you a link here. In this case, you can just copy it, but if you hit play all, it'll be at the top in the address. And you can then share that link on Facebook or in Folio or something like that for other people to see. And they will view this playlist from start to finish in the order that you specify. Now, if we take a look at the URL for a YouTube video up here, it's actually kind of interesting. You can see that it's made up of youtube.com slash watch with a question mark. That means it's running a query. Uh, v equals, is video equals and here is the unique identifier for that video. It stops at the ampersand because an ampersand in an address means that you're adding more qualifiers or queries to the URL. So this is the unique uh, identifier for the video. So it's saying, go to YouTube, watch the video with this unique identifier and uh, continue on with the playlist that equals this unique identifier for the playlist uh, and so on. So that's actually kind of interesting to just parse this out. This is just a bonus thing for you guys if you're watching the video this long. As I promised in the beginning, you can get the URL for any video at a very specific time. Let's say you want to do it right here just by right clicking on it and choosing copy video URL at current time. If I were to then paste this, then you can see that the, you can see that the video URL here has the YouTube and it's feature of YouTube playlist of this playlist and time equals 208. Time equals 208, meaning 208 seconds. Now, if I wanted to share this without the entire list, I would want to uh, take out this part of the, the URL, or I would want to go over here and try to find the share button and share this right here. And it just shows, just shares the YouTube video. And I can check this mark that says start at three minutes and 31 seconds. And you can see that they changed the time from being hundreds of seconds to 3M31S, which is the same thing as saying 208. On time so that's another way you can get the URL at that current time but the easiest way if you're not in a playlist if you're just playing you know a specific video or something like that the easiest way is to go to where you want it to be right click on it and copy video URL at the current time all right guys I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful and if you did go ahead and click that like button heck why not support us and click that subscribe button leave a comment or an idea for Tech Tuesday in the video below share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye